Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about Monero hard fork. Yes, we have another hard fork. This was done last Friday. So in fact, Monero has hard fork every six months. So this time they want to change the Crypto Night uh, proof of work hashing algorithm become ASIC resistant. So the reason for that is because they don't want a handful of miners control the Monero hashing power of the network. So um, essentially it will make uh, ASIC equ mining equipment become useless. So another feature is they want to increase the ring size. So if they increase the ring size, there will be uh, more privacy because it's more difficult to trace the transaction and also bigger transaction as well. And also another feature is multi-signature and also the initial the Ledger Nano S wallet support as well. So after the hard fault, you can see the ASIC uh, mining equipment uh, become worthless, useless, right? So they have a fire sale manufacturer, they have a fire sale of ASIC equipment after Monero hard fault. So they sell it, uh, they have to sell it because it's become useless. So not all the groups ag uh, agree with the Monero, uh, the ASIC resistant uh, al algorithm. So that's why they spin off with four new projects because of this. So they have Monero Zero, Monero Original, and Monero Classic. And here is Monero Dash with a Dash Classic. And the original Monero. So the first one, Monero Classic, which is XMC. So they, they were initialed by a group of uh, Monero uh, enthusiasts from Singapore. So they believe that the development of ASIC is healthy and market-driven process. And they also are uh, talking about believe that developer changing the proof of, proof of work, create more centralizations and harm decentralization. And uh, since the Monero developer, they can, and they, you know, they change the consensus rule, whatever it suits them and the community seems to be conditioned into the following the wishes of the developer. So, and they are talking about that they have no connections with other new Monero project and has no plan to cooperate with them. So the second project that's spin off because of this hard fault is Monero Dash Classic XMC. So the person behind this Monero Dash Classic identify himself as PC. So uh, he's, he talked about that the emergence of the specialized mining machines for cryptocurrency is a normal market uh, economy phenomenon. And they argue that uh, if they are professional mining machines, the events like Monero attacked by more than 500,000 botnets could be avoided. So botnet is essentially they create some malware to your computer or to your cell phone. Then your computer or your cell phone become zombie to mine Moneros for them. So actually, uh, we, we don't know. You know, all the computer may be mining Monero because of this malware. <clears throat> so this project, uh, they suspect is backed by Bitman. Bitman is um, a major manufacturer for ASIC mining equipment. So another project come out uh, with this half hour is Monero Zero. So they identify uh, themselves as like proof of work maximism and some of them, they operate hobby operation for mining. And they also believe that uh, continue hard fork, continuously hard fork is no longer stable or same strategy for, for Monero project. They believe that Satoshi uh, proof of work is the, the only mechanism for decentralized consensus. The so-called network upgrade that are essentially mandated by Monero project are in a Trojan horse designed to compromise the effectiveness of proof, proof of work in the Monero network. Monero Zero is not a fault. It is the original Monero. So they went on also talk about Bitmain, you know, the, uh, the major manufacturer of ASIC mining equipment is trying to destroy Monero. So the next project spin off from this half fault is Monero Original, XMO. So they don't have a website, but they uh, they also but they do uh, have activity in GitHub. So if you go to GitHub, they have over four thousand uh, commit. And this project is actually from the lead develop deep developer uh, of the Monero original team. This is from the original Monero team. 
So right now, Monero Original, they have hit BTC support this coin. So if you have Monero at the time of the hard fork, hit BTC is automatically credit you back the XMO, uh, Monero Original. Currently, uh, Monero Original is trading at like around six bucks. Ooh, it was four bucks earlier. So what's the implication with all this hard fork? So for one thing, uh, because Monero hard fork did not support replay protection, this could mean that the user who spent Monero on new Monero blockchain could also unintentionally spend the equivalent coin on the pre hard fork blockchain and vice versa. Uh, on the, the thing is, on the new Monero protocol, this risk appeared to be limited for user of the pre hard fork blockchain. So because the default transaction they will make uh, will consider invalid on the new Monero protocol. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So, so you can see the hashing uh, power for Monero dropped by over 50% after ASIC resistant, uh, resisting hard fork. So the uh, hashing power like, dropped from 1.16 gigahertz to 157 uh, megahertz per second. Wow, the drop uh, it dropped so substantial. So this is right after the half of the uh, hashing power dropped like so substantially. So they're suspecting like over 51 percent of the mon uh, previous Monero network uh, is the hash hashing power is controlled by um, the ASIC miner. Well, we are going to have another upcoming half fault in 21 days. This is Monero V. So hit BTC support this uh, Monero V. So if you have Monero V at the time of the half fault in hit BTC, hit BTC is going to automatically credit you back. So it will be in 21 days and at block height 1564965. I have a great, I actually have a great videos about this Monero V. Check it out. That was probably a great, probably a, few weeks ago. So what what do you think about this uh, upcoming half uh, upcoming half fork for Monero V? And also uh, do you agree with this half fork this half fork the spin off like four new projects? <laughs> and do you agree with the ASIC resistant mining algorithm? So please comment below. Uh, to me, I think you know the more they did, they do the half fall. It's just like, just like stock. They diluting the shares of the stock. Of the stock, they splitting the stock. Like keep on splitting, splitting the stock, and then eventually diluting the shares of the stock. So I felt like if they keep on doing that, it's just diluting the network effect of the Monero. So what do you think, guys? So please comment below, and. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date of the upcoming airdrop, ICO, and hard fork. I also have uh, some other video about the upcoming uh, hard fork, airdrop, and ICO as well. I'm not a financial advisor. Please use your due diligence to invest your money. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace.